Look, I haven't done drag in a week. I have eyelash glue. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hugo Girl. I'm uncomfortable in front of a camera and today I'm going to teach you how to do my makeup or how I do my makeup. Uh, alrighty, so before we start, this video ended up uh, being very long. What a surprise. So it uh, turns out there's a lot to cover. So I've split it into part one and part two. So this is part one where I show you how I prep my face and contour for drag kings and other masculine people. I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Uh, yes, please don't make fun of me. It's gonna be a time, okay. Okay, first thing is I clean my face of the sweat of the day with my cellar water and then I just leave it. And now I'm gonna paint my hair back. I have tiny, tiny, tiny hairs. So the usual rules of uh, wig pinning do not apply for me. So um, what I do is I pin all my hair back and then I pin wigs to the mass of bobby pins. It is precarious, but it works for me. I put texturizing powder in my hair, which helps everything grip because big fucking wigs are heavy and this doesn't form much of a base. And then I moisturize, moisturize my face uh, and just make sure you use the cheapest moisturizer available to you, which in my case is body moisturizer because um, uh, it's important not to care about your skin or how you look. Yeah, you know it's shit when it burns your eyes a little bit. Woo! Ugh. Is this attractive? Is this good? What is it? It's eye drops. Okay, show. Oh, oh, I get it. Is this how you, hang on, do you do the yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh my god. Is it focusing? No. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm not destined for YouTube. <laughs> Look at it. Focus here. It's just fucking eye drops. Woo! And just cry for a second. It's cathartic. It's very good. It's a nice way to start the ritual. Uh, this is Nivea Aftershave Balm, which does good things for your pores. And I have quite dry skin, so it's nice to lay down a greasy base. A greasy bottom. And it comes out like a little worm. Yeah, see, zero points for functionality. That is very difficult to use. Beautiful. Now we're ready for makeup. So I have a tiny little ratty face, and it's taken me a long time to deal with my issues of jealousy, looking at drag queens with giant, big, beautiful, round faces. I do not have a lot of real estate, and I've tried lots of things to try and do, like, really fucking big, interesting makeup on my face. Uh, this is as creative as, as I can get. As soon as I move my eyebrows too far up, it just... It doesn't look cute. Uh, also, a problem when you have kind of like a pointy little face like I do, is that traditional like drag king makeup that like masculinizes, masculinizes the face, uh, tends to make you look very, very angular and very, very, very pointy. So uh, recently I've kind of uh, just chilled out a little bit on making my face super jutty and manly. Uh, and I've just kind of, and I'm just, I'm just doing drag now. I'm just doing drag. Just, just trying to make myself feel pretty. It's important. Everyone deserves to feel pretty. And that's why drag is amazing and there is so much diversity in it because it's raw and, oh, this just hasn't had a little on it. Good. It's just raw and personal and beautiful self-expression. And it's also why drag queens are such bitches. Colour correct under my eyes with shitty Jordana. Great. Actually, your makeup is just Filthy, just horrible, nothing you would ever want on your face. It's authentic. This is the best thing ever, and it's very fun to put on and very fast to put on. It is Cryolin, and this is 3W. And then you just blend it with a damp sponge, which I'm sure is very radical and new information for you, considering that you're watching a makeup tutorial and have probably never done that before. And so you're like, what? Blending? What is that? What a radical new notion. My drag king colour tip is to use yellow tones in pretty much everything and not pink or grey. You want stuff that warms you up while not making you like 
rosy cheeks. It totally depends what you're going for. Rosy cheeks looks fucking adorable on like cute boys. But to look manly, men have like yellow undertones. But I think the cardinal sin of drag king makeup is going grey because you work got like might have like grey stubble and then you're like avoiding colour because you want to look like a dude and then it all kind of you kind of look like a Victorian street urchin. You know what I mean? Fuck you're smart. See? That's shit I did not know about. Yeah. So yeah. with with stubble in particular, if you've got if you're using like um, a foundation colour that like cools you out too much, um, you start looking fucking dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's when you look at drag kings on stage a lot of the time, and if they've got like beards in particular, it'll be like ghoulish eyes, and then like their chin just like disappears. Yeah. Don't be afraid of colour, but do be afraid of pink. Oh, what the story. <laughs> um, yeah, so I use a good example. It says make sure you blend your makeup so much that you take all of it off. Good. Um, my. What's it gonna say? Orange blush. So like warm toned bronzer and orange blush. It makes you look awake on stage. Draking makeup is a midway point between two opposing ideas. Yeah, shit's gonna get philosophical, okay? So uh, draking, like male makeup, often kind of drags the face down. You're going like hoo hoo and you're adding like, and you kind of look angry and like dragged down. But stage makeup where you want to like brighten your face and like whoo, does the opposite. So what you're about to see is a weird midway between those two things. Stay tuned. Great. Use your filthy cream contour, 9W. Mm -mm. Yes, okay. Uh, I was also afraid to go, I was kind of doing my contour like down. I was doing it too low and it didn't look good. End of story, okay. Nice and wide. I found my magic point on my face where I can widen my nose and yeah, use the bonds of your face as reference points. Everyone's face is different. So my brow kind of naturally does it, so we're going to follow that. This trick blows my mind, and I still don't really understand how it works, but fuck me, does it work. So, these little triangles, because dibbiting out your temple area is a good mask thing, but I don't bring it down too much because I do my highlight whoop, up to lift my face up, hence resulting in a weird little triangle. Here are the devil horns, lots of drag kings are doing this nowadays, and it looks fucking good because it brings your brow bone down. Um, this is a very simplified vision because I am what? Not talented. So uh, some drag kings do like, they somehow manage to make it all like separate lines but from two meters back it just looks like they have a very pronounced brow bone. I don't know how to do that, this is my vision. Um, I am about to change the shape of this so it like curves down slightly and then I'm going to highlight my jawbone so when I look forwards, my jawbone pops out. Uh, oh, I forgot one thing. I just like doing that because it looks cute. Uh, and this is as low as I can do my jaw contour. Um, yeah, I don't do it any lower because as soon as it, like a lot of drag kings do like the Adam's apple contour. Um, I don't do that, it looks weird on me, so I don't go any lower because as soon as it gets lower it just gets bulky and I don't, I don't like it. Um, and now that you've blended too much, you need to touch up the shit that you removed with 3W again. Good. Fantastic. Amazing. Oh, she's blotchy. Excuse me? Uh, what? Oh my god, it's my licking. I'm like, oh, it doesn't have a lid on it. It doesn't matter. It turns out it does matter! <laughs> Fuck! So some drag kings cut, like cut, like do the darkest line at the top and then fade down which makes this like nice real harsh cheekbone moment. Uh, I do the opposite because I want my jawbone to be the most prominent bit. Start 
that bit in there. Some drag kings go straight across. I do not. Because I'm a pretty boy. Okay, yeah, see, I would say this is like too far in. I would. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with this. Air spun, because the internet told me to. I do what uh, the opposite of what probably every drag makeup tutorial on the internet tells you to do, and I don't bake. <gasps> Take, take, take my drag license away from me now. I have super dry skin. If I, if I cake it on with a powder puff, it like cracks and flakes like straight away. I put a shitload on. That's a good one. But I just don't like sit there with powder under my eyes. Also, you know, not 19 anymore like some of us. So. How I'm 20. Oh, you. she's 20. Oh. <laughs> Uh, while I let that bake, see it. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Now, as previously aforementioned, I can't bring my eyebrows very high um, because I look mad and it doesn't look like it blends with the rest of my face because you should always work with what the goddess gave you. And for me, that is a tiny, tiny fucking little rat face. Okay, um, I have tried on multiple different occasions to do that like ombre thing, you know? Um, I don't like it. I don't like doing it. Instagram can get fucked. I'm gonna do whatever I want on my face. So I do block fucking black eyebrows. And also it makes sense because I have like a block black shape down the bottom and it balances things out. Look, don't question it, it's science. So first line is pretty much in the middle of my eyebrows so I can raise them somewhat but not, yeah. Okay, there's our base. So it's like halfway through, so it's like slightly lifted, it's above my actual brow. Um, yeah, cool, and then it flares out, which gives me a little bit more room to do interesting eye makeup. You might notice that I did not do a brow cover, and that's because I have what the men's rights activists are calling um, female privilege. And I have tiny brows that get covered perfectly adequately with foundation. Ha 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 I'm not a woman. Fuck. You good? Not even! Okay, so if you look like a Disney villain, you did it correctly. Um, now I'm gonna try and make them look, uh, even in those lines, look sharp. Fuck, I'm still really not happy with this. Um, by highlight. Okay, so I just am caking on uh, my Krylon TV paint stick over my brows, which for me is enough to stick them down. I hate that for me. And um, instead of actually tidying up that line, just go ahead and make it worse with this step. Cool. And now I'm going to go over with Clown White, and then I'm going to set it with some sparkly white powder. Okay, hello. So I hope you liked this little tutorial on how I contour for drag kings. Part two is coming, my friends. So make sure you don't miss it. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notifications when I upload. Did I do it right? Did I do the, did I do the YouTube thing right? Okay, bye.